Hello my friends, we are back in Luminar Neo and today we are talking about the first tool you should ever use when you start your edit in Luminar Neo. And that is develop raw. It's only a, this only applies to you if you shoot on raw, which you should by the way. And when you open your image in raw, this is a raw image I took just the other day and has no edits applied to it yet. And if you look here on the top right, it's develop raw. When you open that, you can apply a camera profile. Now this is important to start your edits with this because the, a good start, you will put you on the track for a good edit. If you start with the wrong camera profile, it might make it harder for you to do a, a good edit. For example, if I do a, this, they have a few of them. I'll take you through this uh, profile. This is Adobe standard, pretty flat profile. Then I have camera standard. You see the colors are a lot brighter. Camera portrait, the tones, the pink, the skin tones will change in that. Camera clear, this is a lot brighter. I'm almost, I'm actually blowing up some white, I believe, over there. Camera vivid, the greens, the colors are a lot punchier. Camera deep, this is a darker, more uh, desaturated profile. Camera landscapes, the greens are really bright now to accentuate in your landscapes. Camera light, this is a brighter, more lifted shadows kind of profile. Camera neutral, and this is the one I use most of the time because it looks like it protects the whites and the darks, gives you the most dynamic range. The colors are, they look flat in the beginning, but it gives you so much range to alter and work with them without getting bending. So this is my favorite of the profiles. Then you have monochrome as well. And the reason why it's important to start with the camera profile first is because the moment you apply one single edit, for example, let's say I want to go, I'm going to revert to original, so I have to develop bra. And if I go to, like, let's say structure and just add one adjustment, when I go to develop, I'm losing the develop bra. So now you cannot apply a camera profile. So that has to be the very first thing you do in your edit. Otherwise, you do not have access to it anymore. This photo, I shot it with the seven, Sony 7R4. Um, the one interesting thing is, I shot this one with my A1. It's a raw file. And let me revert it to the original. I did no edits to it. But uh, when I go to this develop, the profiles are different. It doesn't say standard and vivid and landscapes. So it has all these like ST, VV2, IN, NT, which they don't really say what they are. It doesn't really matter. You don't need to know what they are. You can just click through it. I'm assuming that this will be the natural NT. You click through them, see which one works for you and work with it. Let's do another example just so to see the way the colors work. I'll do this one. It's not a great photo I took the other day. I was hoping for a beautiful, colorful sunset and it just never happened. But let's revert it to the original. And this I shot it with the 7R4 as well. So if I go to standard, nothing, nothing really much changes. It's kind of the same camera standard. We give a little bit more contrast. Camera portrait flattens out the image a little bit. Clear. When I go to clear, I'm completely blowing out this highlight. So you see, if you choose the wrong camera profile, it will be hard to bring these highlights back. And the shadows over here, they're clipped. Vivid. This just enhances the color more. Deep. The shadows are clipped. Landscape. Increases the saturations into the greens and yellows. Camera light, we're like getting the brights a little bit too bright there. Neutral, my favorite one. And monochrome. So really that's it about this. I just wanted to do a really quick video to, um, you know, stir you into the right direction. If you shoot in RAW, you should probably start with this tool first. Develop RAW, it's very... Um, very useful and it gives you a lot more control if you choose the right camera profile. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kylo Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.